Well, you know, uh, Your Honor, when, you know, my first intentions when I got here was to uh, spew a lot of hatred and uh, probably even a few choice words um, for this, this whatever, this, this monster over here. But you know what? I'm not even going to go there. But um, I do got something I want, I, I want him to, I, I want to read to him, and I want him to pay close attention to this. Matthew 18, 6. But whosoever shall offend one of these little ones which believeth in me, it were better for that a millstone be hanged about his neck and that were drowned in the depth of the sea. Now, um, the judgment of um, the man is about to give, the judgment of the man is about to give to this monster. It's going to be nothing to, for the wrath that God has for him. What he did. This is what you did. This is what you did right here. You took away from us. You took away from us a sweet, innocent, and bright little girl. I don't know what gave you the right. You took that from us. You took that from us. And you know what? With that being said, as far as I'm concerned, you don't even deserve to breathe the same air that we're breathing on this earth. Amen. Amen. And you know what? So uh, goodbye, good riddance, and burning hell. Slow. 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 Mr. Bennett, who, Mr. Bennett, who else would like to speak? It's heavy on my heart. I got a lot to say. Because that was my niece, and this man is supposed to be my uncle. I don't even know this man at all. I don't know him. But for him to do what he did to my sister and my nieces is not right. And I wish that Kansas had the death penalty because you need to be dead. You don't need to be alive. And that's just how I feel about the situation. Comments to me, please. Thank you. Whatever I do today is man's judgment. I don't know if we'll give family members victims any further comfort, solace or not, but Mr. Wright will still have to face God's judgment sometime. That's beyond me. Having said that, I'll get on now to the sentencing of Mr. Wright. On count one, premeditated first degree murder, I will impose the mandatory sentence of a hard 50. That means you will serve every day in jail of 50 years before you're eligible to seek parole. There's no guarantee you'll reach parole or be granted parole if you do survive those 50 years. You will receive credit for time served in jail up to this point in time, but you will not be able to receive any credit for good time while you're in the prison system. On count two, I'll impose high number of 653 months. On counts three through 12 inclusive, I'll impose high number of 165 months. On counts 13 and 16, I'll impose high number 34 months. On counts 14 and 15, I'll impose high number of 61 months. On count 17, I'll impose high number of nine months. I'm still going to follow the plea agreement. I think there's a function to doing that. There's a validity in doing that in the court system. I will run counts 2 through 17 concurrent with each other and concurrent with the hard 50 in count 1, but that still gives you an overall controlling sentence of every day of 50 years in prison without reduction for good time. 